That is what's digging into my heel. Terrible design. Thankfully, my scissors will actually cut this plastic. Plastic is out. It is day 28. We passed mile 500 yesterday. It's a pretty big day yesterday. Did more than 32 miles. And I had to do surgery on my shoe this morning. That's super annoying. I don't know if every shoe has that, but that's the first time I've seen like that plastic tab at the back of the shoe. It was poking through and it cut my feet in hot springs. And then I switched to those other hiker box shoes, so it was getting better. But since switching back, you know, I tried to pad it yesterday, had some Luco tape on my feet, but that wasn't enough. So not quite sure if it's a blister right now or if it's like an infected cut, but it's definitely swelling fluid at the back of my feet where on my heel where that plastic piece has been like rubbing cutting at it and it's always something out here you know in the beginning it was the blisters and then it was poison ivy and then my poison ivy got infected that's mostly all of that's mostly resolved now and now it's this thing on the back of my heel <laughs> and then, yeah it just seems like there's always something so uh, just gotta prepare yourself to deal with it and realize every single one of these is temporary and will go away but also new things will arrive and also go away so just don't try and um, expect a nice beautiful pain-free hike because I imagine there will always be something for your hike as well. This video is made possible by Aerolo. If you watch my channel, then you love travel as much as I do. On my recent trips to Asia, I found it a real hassle to take my phone apart and switch out SIM cards at every new country. Aerolo has a great solution to this headache. Trusted by over 10 million users, Aerolo is an app that allows you to purchase and manage affordable data plans on the fly. Just download the app, choose the right eSIM plan, install and be connected once you land at your destination. Aerolo covers over 200 countries and regions. Follow the purchase instructions and activate and you'll have self-service in your destination country. There's no swapping of physical cards, no getting scammed at the airport and paying too much, and when you need to change it, just use the app. Download the app today and use my code QUADZILLA3 for $3 off your first eSIM. Link to the Aerolo app is in the description, and now back to the video. I actually don't feel great today. This morning, it felt like I had like acid reflux or something, and then that slowly progressed to some like diarrhea, and I feel a little bit better after using the restroom um, but still I definitely notice I'm just I've just been tired like in the hike very low energy kind of um, having trouble breathing or just just breathing harder um, so now I'm gonna cook some oatmeal and some soup and eat that and just rest a little bit and hopefully that will restore some of my energy but uh, yeah kind of a hard day today my my foot hurts and whatever this is, hopefully it's not Noro. So Noro, is, uh, it's a virus, norovirus, and it uh, causes like vomiting, diarrhea, and it's very easily spread out here. You can only get rid of it by washing your hands. Hand sanitizer doesn't kill that virus. So I've been trying to wash my hands in every kind of stream that I go by. But uh, yeah, it's a big concern on the AT, especially in the bubble when there's lots of people because like people just pass it to everybody else. It's very contagious. It's been so hot recently. I am welcoming this rain. Here's a shot. Who finds the shot glass? I'll do it. We should do it. There's got to be like a silicone one. Silicone shot glass. I mean, we have like a little plastic one. Oh, that's easy. 
What's your favorite like liquor? Um, I like some sort of whiskey. Oh, yeah, it's your birthday soon. Yeah, yeah very soon. Mm -hmm. It's coming out in five days. It's gonna land on Saturday, I think. Oh, we should be passing through Parisburg on Saturday. Let's celebrate. No, you're doing mushrooms, LSD, <laughs> and you're drinking all, all the whiskey. <laughs> So this is partnership shelter, and there's a shower in here. It's uh, cold water, but still, I'm gonna take a shower. There you go, Claude. Nice. What do we got, Matthew? We got a pizza delivery. Pizza delivery. <laughs> what kind of pizzas? Uh, I think it's a Supreme and a Buffalo chicken. It's gonna be really good. I'm excited. You open it up. Oh yeah. Delivered to the shelter. Oh yeah. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I'm not even that hungry anymore. Well, we have pizza. <laughs> Get some pyro. Yeah, pyro you can have some. Well, I did pay for like half of it. Thank you. You're losing too much weight. I think that. I don't know, I haven't weighed myself in a while, but last time I did, I was back up to like 150. <laughs> Laying down feels so good. So I'm going to go try and hitch into Marion and go to a hospital because my left heel where it's been scraping against the stupid shoe, I think it developed an infection. You know, I could feel it the last couple of days, but um, it's really swollen this morning and I had a fever last night and then my muscles, like my uh, calves and hamstring, like really, really hurt. So I don't know if that's because it's infected or... If I was walking on it weird yesterday, but especially that fever, like that's a real sign of concern. Because, uh, yeah, if an infection like really sets in, you could die in a couple of days. So I'm gonna go get some antibiotics. I hitch with a prison guard, she was really nice. And uh, yeah, now I just gotta wait for the urgent care to open. Yeah, look how swollen all this is. And then this is oozing. <laughs> so, but I got in right away. Uh, they opened at eight o'clock and I'm in the waiting room or the hospital, whatever room at 8.17. So pretty good service. Soak the infection, relax, and uh, yeah, hope they draw out some of the infected oozy pus. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's feeling better earlier, but uh, I walked a mile in town to Walmart and now I'm feeling pretty bad, pretty feverish, and my ankle is really swollen. So, just try and get some rest. Like I'm out of breath, even now, having just, all I did was shower. That ankle, compared to my regular ankle. So they've got size 15 temp fours and ultra lone peaks for like 40% off, so. I wish size 13. I'm gonna try and make it try and make it work. I hope you guys have fun with you. I'm going to a wedding, leaving for a wedding on Thursday at midnight. Out of five thousand. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Coach. Yeah, have a great day and see ya. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. 
All right, so these are gonna be 40% off. They are last year's model, so you're good to go. Two. So regular 160 comes to 96 before taxes, after taxes 103.68. It's pretty good for a brand new pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, tell me what you're doing right now. Uh, well, right now I'm just scrambling it up. Uh, I like to, for myself, not look at it so that I don't feel like I cheated by seeing it, even though it doesn't really matter. I can't follow myself that fast. <laughs> but, um, okay. Let's see if I can. Oh, uh, this is. All right, we'll try it. What's the fastest you've done it? Um, I just got one that, well, it could have happened when I haven't been timing it like this, but the last one that I've timed was a 10.07 second solve. Wow. Uh, but that's that's not the, a lot of people will answer competition wise because there's an official World Cubing Association you can go to different competitions to get an official time. That I don't actually remember. I think it was maybe 11 or 12, but I average around 15 to 16 at competitions. So mm -hmm. at home, it's a more relaxed environment. It's just easier to perform yeah. better. <laughs> Does your trail name have anything to do with? No, our trail name's Dancing Bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's day 30. It's been two days since I went to the hospital. And the swelling is actually getting worse, I think. And I'm testing my capillary refill right now because the concern is if it's cutting off my blood flow to the toes, then that's like immediate hospital. So. I'm going to test that, and if it's not improving in the morning, I'm going to have to go to the ER and get some IV antibiotics because, yeah, if it's not getting better, it's uh, quite concerning. So because blood, you know, comes back into the toenail after I press on it, that means there's still circulation. So if there's no circulation, then you go immediately to the hospital. Because this is starting to become like compartment syndrome where it uh, can shut off, you know, blood flow. And if that happens, then your foot dies. Pretty happy about these new ultras and I was looking at these uh, La Sportivas trying to figure out like was it a fluke? Is it a design flaw? Um, but looking at my, so is my left shoe, you know, where the plastic was cutting me and feeling around on the right shoe like I can feel that sharp piece of plastic right there and you can see that it's actually cutting a hole just the same on my um, left side. So. I think this is a design flaw with the, these shoes. I don't know if it's um, in all Las Sportivas or just this model, but regardless, I'm not going to be getting any any more of these because um, a shoe should not cut you after you've worn it for a few hundred miles. That's a ridiculous piece of design, and I think the thought is this plastic tabs in the back helps keep the structure of the back of the shoe, but if it's sharp enough and it's built in a way that it can cut through the padding material and then cut your foot, that is absolutely unacceptable in a shoe. Oh yeah, so that's my right shoe and same thing right on that spot. Oh, there we goes. You can see that plastic is starting to uh, eat through, rub through the padding. And here's my left shoe. That's the hole that was created. I didn't create that hole. That hole was created by the plastic and then, you know, I cut out that plastic, so no good. The tread is all right. So these shoes probably have 400-ish miles on them, all told. Um, if it wasn't for this, 
These could have lasted at least 200 more miles. The hiker box here is absolutely stuffed. Look at all that. So I'm just taking a little bit. Some mashed potatoes, some breakfast essentials, one of these cliff bars, and uh, pepperoni. And this is a big block of melted Reese's. Craziest thing in this hiker box is this. This is a brand new, basically, ULA circuit. And I think I know the dude that uh, dropped it here because he said he changed his pack three times now. And he had, I think he bought that pack here at Marion Outdoors and he changed it again because he just nothing would, uh, was comfortable. And I asked him, what's your base weight? And he said, about 42 pounds. That's before food and water. So with food and water, he's got to be pushing 55, 60 pounds. So yeah, of course, nothing is going to be comfortable. No pack in the world is going to feel good when you have a 55 to 60 pound pack. And so yeah, he has bought a different pack now. And this brand new ULA circuit is in the hiker box. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I want to test out that 3FUL more, but that's that's a good pack. That's a good find. Yeah, that is a hole. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, a little bit.